Hi, my name is Justin Conway. Today I'm going to show you how to link an Excel table to Microsoft Word. And, uh, you know, I, I've heard this question a bunch of different times, and I'm not, uh, there's, there's different ways that it could be explained, different things that could be meant by it. Um, so I'm going to try and cover a few of them, and hopefully I'll, uh, I'll answer all questions. So, um, first way is if you want to take the table that I've created here, which is for income, and you want this to be accessible. Um, uh, or you want this uh, table right here when you click on it to go to a Word document. So this would be linking this table to a Word document. You're going to select the entire table, right click, hit hyperlink, and select document. And then you can hit the select button to choose a document that you'd like to hyperlink to. Click OK. And so now everything in this area is hyperlinked to that Word document. So if you click anywhere in it, it will actually open up the Word document. As it's doing, it's processing. Here we go. So now it actually opened up that document. And these are other tables that I already had created within that Word document. Um, the other thing uh, that I'd like to cover uh, for this topic is if you'd like inside your Word document to have a link back to your Excel document. Um, or if you'd like to actually have the Excel uh, table in your Word document embedded, which uh, I'm going to cover both. So embedding is when uh, it's, diff it's different from a link. Um, embedding is when the information actually lives in your Word document. So it's not editable in Excel anymore. It's only in Word. Uh, easiest way to do that is to copy and paste. So just like we selected here, we just hit copy, go into the Word document, paste, and you can see it just copied the table right in. The other way to do it uh, is linking. Linking actually keeps the files linked. Um, so the way to do that is within your Word document to go to Insert. And you want to choose, let's try that one more time. Insert and go to File. And select the file that you'd like to add. For us, it's going to be uh, this file here. And select Insert. And now it's processing, but that will insert the file uh, inside. Here we go. And click OK. And it inserts the entire file contents in Microsoft uh, Word. Um, then the other option, the last option in that area, same area, uh, if we go back to Insert and go to File, uh, you have Link to File. So the information won't be displayed. Well, let's just try it so that you can see what it looks like. So we're going to select increments, which is our file we're going to add. We're going to click link to file, click insert, and click OK again. Click OK. OK, so now when the information is populated in the Word document, the information is actually linked back to the original Excel document so that if you double click on the information, it'll bring you back to the Excel page to edit the information. Um, so that's what linking is. It's being able to go back to the original document to edit. Uh, so those are the different ways to link uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and uh, using charts. My name is Justin Conway, and I hope you enjoyed.